hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 is Brazil. So this should be the last episode, we are like 28, 29, something like that turns away from victory, hopefully just need to get the next golden age to finally get enough tourism with Arabia and then build the citizen earth protocol, which should be done, I think in 17, so we should be 20, what, 29 turns away from victory. And this episode is coming a little later than I wanted it because th today the whole day I've been feeling like crap so I wasn't even sure that I'll be able to record but uh, I took a short nap so I think uh, I can handle this especially because this should be just a you know cleanup uh, there is not much to do we should be just able to hit the uh, enter in a couple of times and uh, win mm. before we start playing uh, because it's the last episode, it's time to start voting on the next series. And um, you know that I wanted to play a Warmonger. And from uh, what you uh, told me in comments so far, uh, there are like two contenders right now. So we'll be voting between Sweden and Mongolia. We'll be playing on the uh, 11th of January patch. Even if a newer patch comes up, before I start the new series, I think I'll still stick to the 11th of January because I like lost trust in new releases until they are tested and like hot fixed most of the time. So I'll always be like playing one patch behind the newest one. I think for safety, I want to avoid the problems with the uh, game being too unstable in the newest versions. Okay, so once again, either Sweden or, or Mongolia, uh, based on what you decide, I will try to figure out the map, but I think uh, with these two saves, I don't know, we can probably grab just Pangea and go some classic settings. Again, I won't be experimenting with maps uh, because of game stability. I tried different maps like two or three times and it bit me in the ass uh, every time. So I will try to go with more classic settings. We will just test things uh, that, or one thing that everybody mentioned, and it's the strength, defensive strength on cities in the 11th of January patch. And we'll see what we can do to beat cities. They should be hitting like tracks, so if there is a way to uh, somehow work around that. Okay, but enough talking about the uh, next series. Let's focus on we on what we have to do today. I think about the reassigning some uh, some um, uh, specialists, and I did that in our capital. But we actually have quite a few cities. I mean, specialists look everywhere, and we don't even don't have like enough tiles or uh, like slots to work with. Basically, I didn't want I didn't want scientists anymore, but I don't have most of the reassign them to so I just uh, decided to ignore it and let's just start playing. There really are no meaningful changes at this point. What I am gonna do, I'm just gonna flip Brasilia and Belo Horizon to back to our religion. Problem is now the religious units each costs over a thousand fate, so I can't just pop, I don't know, I'm gonna need two uh, Inquisitors and the missionary because Belo Horizonte at this point doesn't have a single follower of our faith and we have to wait to get the faith for the maybe I can get the first uh, Inquisitor. And another problem is the stupid Greek prophet is still here flipping our cities. Um, okay, let's get the Inquisitor. And uh, try another one. I hope he waits around one turn. I will move, excuse me, those profits away so that he can flip Sao Paulo. He has still two charges left. And I don't want him to use both on Rio. Maybe I should have saved Faith and bought. Uh, an Inquisitor there. I think I will just send one Inquisitor to Rio. That's probably the best option there. Alexander got Broadway. Good for him. Enrico declared on Arabia. Well, that's brave. Borders Brasilia drawing. Whatever. Is there anything useful? No. There is not. I could steal. If I had another. Actually, I do have another general. I could steal this oil. Because, well. We know that Arabia doesn't need oil. Uh, which tile is better, this one or this one? I 
I think I'll grab this one so that I get the spray road into my territory. It will give me slightly better like logistical options. Uh, you probably want to protect the general, but Arabia. Actually, Arabia can declare at this point. They probably will. Okay, where is he going? To Brasilia. Yeah, you can go there. Um, I won't pop the Inquisitor yet. Really need to wait for the Prophet to do something. Anything else? No. Oh, there is um, Harold declaring on Arabia. Okay, great. The more people declare on Arabia, the better. Uh, Spacey Proctor finished. 26 for the booster, sure. Uh, Sao Paulo. Let's actually send production to Sao Paulo now when it's building spaceship parts. 23 turns. It's actually decent uh, shaving of 3 turns with just one caravan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just had his ass handed to me and now he's gonna say things like what he just did. Sure. Uh, but look at him. Mechanized infantry, helicopter gunship. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure you like it. There is a rocket artillery. But he's fighting, uh, he's fighting Greece, right? So at least, well, this is a horrible position. Greece, what are you doing? Mm, so I'm just gonna abandon the citadel here. It's a bit too exposed. I really did that just to steal the oil. It's plus oil for us, minus oil for him. Next. How much oil does he have to work with? There is, oh, there, he has enough. Seven, there is another seven here. Oh, it's only three. Then he has oil up here somehow. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's five tiles away. I thought that it was six tiles and it would be weird. Gatmandu captured and liberated. Was it liberated? Yeah, it was liberated. Merchant, go. More money. You can maybe start buying some more bombers at this point. Uh, Salvador. What is Salvador doing? Building spaceship. Let's go to Belo Horizonte with production. If I send production to every city that's building spaceship parts, we may actually pull off the science victory before the culture. <clears throat> Okay, let's check that. No, it's not gonna work without the without the golden age. And where is the profit? Okay, moving away. In that case, let's get another. Uh, wait, I don't have religion here. No, I don't. Wow, how the hell it's not enough? Hmm, change of plans. Where is it? Here, profit is only two and a half thousand. That's probably easier.
How is Arabia doing? 52. He's been pretty unhappy the whole game. Or at least the whole end game. And still no problems at all. It's pretty impressive how much culture he can get. Much are still bombers, 2700, pretty expensive. Oh, wait. Maybe I should just upgrade those B-17s. How many A units does he have? Yeah, there are some uh, mobile SAMs now available. And he's back. Well, doesn't matter. We'll just wait for him to use the charges and then get our own profit. Next. How many future tags did we get already? We should be probably working already on like FTL drive with the amount of tag that we have. They should add something to the future tags because plus one happiness doesn't really give you anything. I don't know, I would give like 5 to 10% extra strength for units with every uh, future tag that you get the, so that the future tags are at least somewhat meaningful and help you end the game. On the other hand, how often do you get to this kind of late game? Killed Indian Spy. Yeah, I forgive you. The only reason why we are playing this late in the game, actually this late, it's still not even 1900 uh, AD. And we are already working on like the 5th or 6th future tag. But... Um, It's probably the first time for me to get like this deep into the tech tree. Engineer, what are we gonna do with him? We have nothing to do with engineers now. We can't rush the the spaceship parts. I think if there's anything worth boosting, would be the the booster because we need three of those and we can't do that. Yep, I just wanted to double check. Now we get the Golden Age. You have 300,000 Golden Age points. So it should be quite a lot of tourism. Harun declared on Bismarck. Great. More people he's fighting, the better. <clears throat> so... Give me the details. There it is. 50,000 tourism. <clears throat> yes, 460, we have 480. I hope he can't catch up before we build. 
Actually, we all get the musician in 12, so... We should be fine. 16 for Citizen Earth Protocol, and now it's time to get a caravan or two. Can't buy caravan? Am I? Oh, I'm on the limit, okay. Why did I delete it? Why did I just send it to a different city there? Whatever. Just want to send some production to Rio. Maybe you can save a turn or two. Next. <clears throat> can I speed up Citizen Earth Protocol with Engineer? I don't think so. It's also probably worth a try. Is it still the old profit? Yeah, one last charge. Yep, can't rush it. Fortify. Uh, production, production, production here for Rio. Down to 14 and production to Rio. Down to 13. Who says we can't buy production? Just bought two turns worth of production in the capital <clears throat> for only like 2000, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, what was it that I wanted to do? I wanted to buy the profit. Not that it matters. And I should probably buy an Inquisitor in the capital just in case the, this profit has some stupid ideas. What is it? First booster, uh, second booster on the way. Here, Inquisitor, make sure that our capital can't be flipped. Uh, wait, that's second booster? Oh no, that's uh, the one that I just moved. Never mind. Next. So, how many spaceship parts are we gonna get? Uh, whatever. Uh, 12. So, we will get one, two, three more parts. The spaceship will also be almost complete. There we go. Now the, the profit's finally done. Travel ban. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> no one is trying to get United Nations anymore. Don't care about the travel ban. Just stop the world ideology. And uh, use one vote. Actually, I don't care. Yeah. Next. Oh, are they still fighting? No. Damn, it sucks. We needed the war between Arabia and Greece to go for a little bit longer. India robbed treasury and stole... Oof, I somehow missed this small detail that we made 200,000 gold. I was only looking at the tourism. Uh, okay. So what happened at the World Congress? Failed, failed, failed. Cockpit. 
And what are we missing? Stasis jump of the chamber. Even the prophet can't completely flip the city. Uh, can we get... No. Can't get Inquisitor. 45... 445... Next. Oh, and again, I forgot to spend the money. I wanted to buy at least some units now. Is Enrico gone? Yes. Arabia just removed Enrico completely. Um, okay, so what we want are... Are we sending anything to Rio from Fuerta? So we are not. So let's buy... Cargo ship. That's gonna be production for the capital. You can go to Brasilia and flip the city. Now we can buy the Inquisitor. Recycling center into. Is there anything useful still? Police station. And we're gonna buy... How much oil do we have? 22 bombers. Or not. Let's actually get those upgrades first. One, two... Alright, oh, stealth bombers don't need oil. They need aluminum though. So can't get that many. I uh, can't even upgrade all of these. In that case, it actually might be better to just buy more. And in the end, we can actually get the Grand Ossuary if we wanted to. Um, how much uranium do we, do we have? Keep buying units. Uh, you need oil. Okay, let's buy some modern armor. We have enough oil now. We can't do anything. What about... What about... Another stealth bomber. Let's upgrade this one. 
No, I'm not selling you oil. Wait, did I forget to send those caravans? Whoops. You all go to Belo Horizonte. And we are supposed to send production to the capital. And it actually did make change. It did make a difference. Um, production to Rio. This one didn't do anything. Checking ta I'm checking tax again. He is catching up. And here we are missing a stadium. Well, that's the reason why we are not able to take over. We don't have one tourism building. Come on, barbarians. How are there still barbarians in the world at this point? Next. <clears throat> one more future tag, one more musician. How far can he go? Let's give him some cover. Next. So we're gonna finish one more booster. So I think we are one booster and the stasis chamber away from uh, uh, the spaceship. And the, the reason why we didn't have the third booster was that uh, our capital was working on something else. <clears throat> there we go. So definitely didn't feel like a, a domination victory in the end, but um, it's a sculptural, but we'll definitely take it. And um, yeah, this uh, victory should have uh, probably come much earlier if you are not playing with the third and fourth mod that it seems to me that it gives way too much strength to Arabia uh, it was just insane how much culture they were able to generate in the end you, you can see that it was a completely different level than anyone else on the map it was us and then it was him and then everyone else was there just like an audience so um, the, the game definitely could use some balance with uh, uh, with the third and fourth unit component, but it's fun. It's less predictable, and it's uh, sometimes forcing you into decisions that you otherwise wouldn't make just because of the lack of balance. So maybe I kind of like it. But at the same time, I understand why some of you would say it just feels broken often. Uh, but I think I want to try domination with the uh, third and fourth unique component where the save that is focused on warfare. So what do we see here? Demographics in the end, rankings. Well, horrible rank. This is our probably worst rank so far. 
Uh, then a replay. I wonder if it's available with uh, extra mods. We want to see graphs at least. And I want to see culture. What is this, by the way? Let's score. Dropped under him. He... Oh, wait, no, that's Arabia. He dropped under us and then almost managed to take over, as you can see, in the end. We are two points above him. But what I'm interested in is culture per turn. Uh, so, his culture per turn dropped to something like 17, maybe 1800, 1700 something, probably. And um, uh, he still was able to like easily keep up with our tourism. Well, that's because we had like 50 per, minus 50 percent modifier and we had only uh 1800 let's say tourism so our effective tourism per uh, turn was like 900 so that probably explains it i expected a lot more actually and he had a lot more at some point that was when he managed to here he managed to take over india somewhere around here then recovered those cities that he captured started working again i think that happened here and uh yeah this is where he delayed our victory because of this. Uh, what else? It's the connection, building, maintenance, access, happiness, food, gold per turn. Who is this? Greece? Greece was making a ton of money. Golden age points, golden age points per turn. Just curious. Who the hell is the other Germany? Yeah. Happiness. Greece had a ton of happiness. Improved tiles, improvement maintenance, military might. What the hell, Denmark? How many units did he have? Because he was like three eras behind. And still had 10,500 military strength. So he had like... 250 units, something like that, on the map. Number of cities, number of known tags. Yeah, completely different level. Number of policies, same thing. Which is surprised that we managed to uh, get the highest population. It's pretty unusual on Diety that the player has highest population. Of course, when you go for domination, then you have all the cities on the map, so you have the highest population because of that. But when you are trying to go tall, it's so unusual that uh, some like aggressively expanding Civ doesn't get more. And it wasn't even close. Science per turn. Wow, you're not even. Look at that. It was just our scientists that uh, did the job. You're even behind, like, no, not Denmark, Germany. More or less on the same level. Greece managed to get more culture, I mean, science per turn. How is that possible? And Arabia. That's because of their unique ability, I guess. Production. That's, those are the, the deity bonuses in the late game eras. It's impossible to keep up with the AIs in the late game era. Uh, unless you, you, of course, get the bonuses from great people. Culture. Land, gold, tourism per turn. Arabia managed to get more tourism per turn than us in the end. Well, let's see if we can get the map view. We can. So what do we want to focus on? There's nothing happening really. Two, four, five, six starting on one island. Then... Uh, 
Germany and Denmark had more than enough room. Arabia started expanding first. And Sam actually screwed up, I think. Should have expanded a lot more aggressively and then eat up all these or try to get all these alliances, these two and these six probably. Look at Greece. Five cities. Pretty early. Six, seven. Holy, oh, yeah. This, this was his mistake. If he didn't pop the city, I think in the end he would have been much stronger. This cost him quite a lot early. That is at a horrible starting position. So considering what the starting position was, uh, he did quite well, even though he got uh, wiped out in the end. If um, he started here and Sam here, or maybe like Sam starting on the same continent as Germany, and we definitely needed Venice to be alone to have time to really grow. And that, let's say Denmark here, but if there was Denmark here, there would be like a non-stop war, Greece, Denmark. And Arabia would probably profit even more from that. We needed Greece to start where Venice started, to have a lot more pressure on Arabia and like war it's Arabia versus Greece much earlier. Look at that. How is how is eating up India? That's what I what I'm usually doing. I'm quite curious about the how Venice disappears. And now we are taking uh, Arabian or liberating Indian cities, let's say. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that was the replay. And I think we are done. Once again, we are voting on the next series under this episode. So it's either Sweden or Mongolia. And the new series will start on Monday uh, because I will wait until basically the end of Sunday with the decision. I think this time it might be quite close. So I'll wait for as long as possible and I'll start recording. I'm not sure how much time I'll have on Monday. So during the day, I can't promise the exact time, but uh, the first episode will uh, come out on uh, on Monday. Uh, other than that, as usual, I hope that you like this episode. I hope that the like that you like the whole series and that you go and join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.